Network. Hi. The first make noise module was the Mod D Mod. The Mod D Mod. Released in early 2008 and immortalized on this t shirt from the 10 year make noise celebration in 2018. The name is short for modulation demodulation, which is the process of extracting a signal from a carrier wave in communication technologies. For example, in radios, although it's used in plenty of other places too. For example, the word modem is also a shortened version of the same phrase. So generally the way this works, and this is not a very technical description, is that the signal we want to transmit is encoded or modulated using amplitude or frequency modulation with a high frequency wave, and then the resulting signal is demodulated by the receiver using a wave of the same frequency. The bands on the radio dial correspond with the frequency of the demodulator. AM radio in the hundreds of kilohertz and FM radio in the very high frequency range around 100 megahertz. Shortwave radio is in the low megahertz and sure enough the name refers to the short cycles of those high frequency waves. Within a synthesizer, modulation and demodulation of signals is totally unnecessary. A patch cable carries the original signal straight to its destination. So there's only one reason we would ever undertake this process in our synthesizer, and it's the best reason for doing anything with a synthesizer. It's fun. The Mondi Mod has been out of production for a long time but its legacy lives on in the Modi mix. So to start, let's just patch our signal to be modulated into its signal input. The signal is my voice through this handy zoom recorder. We're going to modulate it with a sine wave. And if we monitor the channel one output, we'll hear this modulation. Here we are. This is the modulation of my voice with a single sine wave. Again, inside the synthesizer, we can demodulate with a wave of the exact same uh, frequency and phase of the carrier because we can just molt it. This makes the purest demodulation we can create, but might not sound super interesting. And here it is, demodulated by the exact same wave. Some devices that demodulate use a phase locked loop to match phase with the carrier. What we're going to do is use a second sine wave of the same frequency and tiny little variations are going to have a relatively large effect. We're going to just tune it by ear and let it drift. Here are our two sine waves mixed in the Optomix. I'm tuning them by ear, and now that they're at about the same frequency, I'm going to control them both using this offset from channel 2 of Mass. Woo! Now, Let's use one sine wave as the carrier in channel one. And then we'll demodulate with the other sine wave in the carrier input of channel two. I'm going to monitor the output of channel two, not the sum output. Channel one is normal to channel two. So the channel two output gives us just the demodulated output instead of mixing it back in with the modulated input. Let's hear it at various frequencies. I'm just gonna start reading again from the script of the beginning of this video. 
the first make noise module was the mod de mod released in early 2008 and immortalized on this t-shirt from the make noise 10 years celebration in 2018 the name is short for modulation demodulation which is the process of extracting a signal from a carrier wave in communications technology for example in radios although it's used in plenty of other places too in fact, the word modem is also a shortened version of the same phrase. So generally the way this works, and this is a not very technical description, is that the signal we want to transmit is encoded or modulated using amplitude or frequency modulation with a high frequency wave, and then the resulting signal is demodulated by the receiver using a wave of the same high frequency. The bands on the radio dial correspond with the frequencies of these waves. AM radio in the hundreds of kilohertz, and FM radio in the very high frequency range. These frequencies here are not anywhere close to the modulating frequencies used in radio. So there are a lot of frequencies that interact strangely with the formants of my voice. Certain vowels sound, it's hard to describe it because it sounds kind of unnatural, but it's almost like the vowels are being flipped upside down or something like that. And of course, it's different depending on what the modulation frequencies are and how they relate to the frequencies that are emerging from my vocal cords. While we're at it, let's uh, try sending the vocal signal through some reverb first before we do the modulation and demodulation. An FM radio in a very high frequency range, around 100 megahertz. Shortwave radio is in the low megahertz. And sure enough, the name refers to the short cycles of such high frequency waves. Within a synthesizer, Modulation and demodulation for transmission of signals is totally unnecessary. The patch cable carries the original signal straight to its destination, so there's only one reason we would ever undertake this process in our synthesizer, and it's the best reason for doing any, anything in the synthesizer. It's fun. It's fun. Earlier I mentioned that a patch cable carries a signal directly to the destination unchanged. Of course, there's actually no such thing as pure communication. Every receiver is going to interpret a signal differently depending on an infinite variety of unmeasurable factors. A synthesizer gives us the option of playing around with these inevitable impurities and unlocking unknown shades of meaning in its signals. As usual, I hope I've managed to communicate to you a little bit about my love for these processes. Now go make noise. Um, say make noise. Make noise. Say it in tune with the, with the uh, carrier wave forms. Make noise. 